Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at how tectonic plates move. This is part of Paper 1, Unit A, The Challenge of Natural Hazards. This is a controversial debate in geography with scientists struggling to agree about what actually makes tectonic plates move. The more widely understood and most commonly used theory is convection. At the Earth's core, temperatures reach around 6,000 degrees Celsius, which causes the hot magma or molten rock to rise in the mantle. This then cools and sinks towards the core. These currents build up pressure as they flow below the lithosphere, carrying the plates with them. For a long time, this theory was widely accepted despite only limited evidence of convection currents ever being found. Modern imaging techniques have not been able to identify convection currents within the mantle that are large enough to move tectonic plates. As a result, this theory has been largely discredited. Ridge push and slab pull is now the more widely accepted theory. Ocean ridges form high above the ocean floor at constructive margins. These are margins where the plates are moving away from each other. Here the mantle melts to form molten magma which rises as the plates move apart and then it cools to form new oceanic lithosphere. This new material is less dense than the asthenosphere but it cools and thickens over time, becoming more dense. This new material thickens with distance from the ocean ridge forming underwater mountain ranges and rifts. This makes the boundary between the solid lithosphere and the plastic-like asthenosphere deeper. As a result, the boundary of the lithosphere and the asthenosphere slopes away from the ridge. This ridge can be 4,000 metres above the surrounding ocean floor. As it slopes away, it pushes the older part of the plate in front due to gravity. And this is known as ridge push. At destructive margins, the new oceanic lithosphere is forced under the continental plate and it sinks under its own weight into the mantle at subduction zones. This pulls slabs of plate apart and causes a sea floor to spread or rifts to form. This is known as slab pull. Some scientists think the slab pull is the most significant process driving plate movements. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on how tectonic plates move. Thank you for watching.